Why hello starlings! This installment will be Is Wheelchair Accessibility Available in Toronto, Canada? The only part of Canada I've ever been to <laughs> and I've only been there once. I spent most of the time in Mississauga, Mississauga. I am very very sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. I was up in Toronto in 2021, end of 2020. It was at like the height of the big C-19 time period. Um, I had gotten in to Toronto literally the day before they were closing the borders. So I didn't get to experience the full Toronto experience, unfortunately, but I had a lot of fun. It was for the big movie that I was in. It was the first big film with an actual name studio behind it, which was super, super fun. I had a lot of fun with that. I would say Toronto for being the third country I have visited is very similar in terms of accessibility. At least that area was pretty darn wheelchair accessible for me in terms of transportation, sidewalks, this just the city aspects. It was very similar to a lot of the East Coast states just in the United States. I can't really say for sure how good the public transportation is and I also cannot really say how well Uber or Lyft are with wheelchair accessibility. I don't even know if they offer that, unfortunately, because we had a driver through the studio, which was a godsend to have. I was very, very grateful for that. I just cannot really say in that term, but I can Google it for you right now. <laughs> okay. After a quick Google search, I don't even know if Lyft is even available in Toronto anymore, but I did look up Uber wheelchair accessible vehicles or Uber Wave, and that is accessible, at least in Toronto. I don't know about any other parts of Canada, but they do offer it in Toronto. I just don't know if it's similar to Los Angeles where they say LA, but they just mean LA County. I'm not sure if Toronto operates the same way. I can say though that the roads are really well, well maintained, as well as their sidewalks, at least where I was. I will also say their hotels are some of the best hotels for wheelchairs I have been in yet. I think they were great, especially the one we stayed in in Mississauga. It was, oh goodness, was it a Marriott? That doesn't sound right. No, it began with an R. The residence, the, the, is it the Marriott residence? That one, I think. It was probably my favorite hotel I've ever been in. It was pretty much a suite. It was beautiful. It was wonderful. I had no problems with shower chairs. I think it was a roll-in shower. I think it was. It actually might have been just a really, really big tub with a shower. No, I think it was a shower. Just not a roll-in. Just a regular shower with a really nice attached bench. Whatever it was, it was great. It was probably one of my favorite hotel suites slash rooms I have had yet. It was wonderful. It was fantastic. I will also say we stayed in one more in the city of Toronto. I cannot remember for the life of me because we stayed at two different hotels. I cannot remember the name of that one. It was a very, very small hotel. It was nothing like the first one, but it was still, you could still get around in it. It's just, if you had another person with you, you were in very tight sleeping quarters. I also want to take this time to discuss accommodations because I was there for work purposes. I will say that they were almost too accommodating for me. Then again, I don't know what it's really like. It was my first big project. It was my first big job. So I didn't really expect them to know anything about wheelchairs and what it is that I need. They were so accommodating. They had rented a specialized trailer that had a lift. They followed me actually. The people who actually owned it, the husband I think, uh, needed a lift with their RV and they rented it to the studio and they followed me and they asked if everything was okay and it was great. I loved it. They also were super accommodating with getting me into locations and sets that had steps because we filmed at actual houses and we filmed at places that didn't have ramps. They were very accommodating in that sense, which I was super, super grateful for. They even had, a, the van had a ramp, which was great. I was more than willing to just transfer and just throw my chair in the back, but they said no. Uh, they picked us up from the airport, which was super, super nice. Again, I'm acting like I got the star treatment. Watch this just be the 
bare minimum, but I was super happy. I didn't know what to expect, so when your standards are down here and your expectations are even lower, it's, it's a really, really heartwarming thing to see. So the Canadian crew were great. I, I, it might be a stereotype with Canadians, but they were all so sweet and so helpful and they just treated you like, like family. I remember when the lift wasn't working, they had a group of people just coming together trying to figure it out and none of us knew how to work that system. None of us knew how to work a lift. Uh, I would say they really made my experience in Canada for my first time ever amazing. We did visit some parts of the Niagara Falls area, which was, again, a lot of fun. I, we, I didn't expect to do that just because, you know, lockdown was kind of a thing, but it also wasn't really a thing. I think we had a few weeks before that was really, really going into effect. So we got to see the falls. It was my first time ever seeing Niagara Falls and it was beautiful. It was a little chilly, but we also saw the, I don't wanna say it's a theme park, but it's right next to the falls. It's this really cool town that had like mini golf, had a Ferris wheel, it had mazes and walkthroughs and shops. It reminded me of downtown Disney in a way. And while it was very steep with some of the hills, it wasn't to the point where even someone helping me push was too difficult. It was fine. Um, it was very well maintained. We also went to a little town just outside of the falls, which was super cute, it looked very quaint, more on the expensive side because you could tell it was a tourist town, but that was beautiful and fun. I saw some cute horses pulling a carriage. I just thought it was super cute, but I would say all the places I visited within the Toronto area were really, really cool. I feel bad that I don't really have much else to say about Toronto. I will insert some clips so you guys can see what I saw and what I got to experience, but I really, really enjoyed my time. Uh, with traveling to Canada and I hope to go back to Canada again sometime soon. I want to see Vancouver. I want to see um, just little towns and stuff that I know TV shows and movies had filmed at. There are places that I want to see there. I'd like to go back to Toronto um, now that I've made friends there and I'd like to see them again. But yeah, I am so sorry that the audio with this is going to be a little bit different than the rest of my current videos just because my microphone decided to die. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It was when I was filming an audition. It sounded like it was possessed. I, I don't know what happened there, so I got to get a new one. So you just get very echoey ambient sound. But thank you so much for putting up with the audio and thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below or you can hit up my social media platforms. They are in the description box along with coupon codes, other miscellaneous fun things. And with all of that, I shall see you all later. First things first, wash. Wash hands. <laughs> <laughs> and throw our masks in the wash. I gotta say, best hotel room of my travels so far. Especially for being paralyzed. Oh, that's a wash right there. That's yeah. so nice. Not bad. I am recording an hour before our first read through. I'll get back to you guys in an hour. <laughs> no, we got a call from the government making sure we were in our rooms. Yeah, they check on us. They ask us it was like, questions. oh, she was very nice though. Quarantine <laughs> day, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, too many days. We did get our tests back, but the first one out of two. And first one was negative, so. Yay. Second one should be coming tomorrow or Saturday. The results. Yes. Yeah. So, might be able to move about. Yeah. She's been sitting way too much. Way too much, and she sits all the time. I'm really lazy. We're not in our room. Yay! We're in the lobby. We are out of detention. Quarantine. 
Like we are okay. We're good. We're COVID free. Yes, we are. We're Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> but we did it. Oh. Yay for me. You got something healthy. <laughs> Ruth is making dinner slash lunch. Yay. Salad. Do you want blueberries on your salad? I would like blueberries on the side. Okay. Because those are like my snack. So, what's on the menu, Chef Ruth? <laughs> we have salads with tomatoes. That's what we have. Leftover chicken on top and blueberries. And your leftover fries. <laughs> When you can't get into the makeup trailer, so they bring you the mini version. They bring the makeup trailer to you. <laughs> My lovely manager. <laughs> and secondary mom. So a momager. A momager. Hey, I like it. A momager. <laughs> Thank Chris Jenner because she coined that phrase. Did she? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. So today's the fun day. We get sparkles, some cool shoes. We have Ruth here. And they brought me this in case I got cold. And I'll hold it up. We were talking about how soft it was. It's like one of those soft fleece blankets, but it's a poncho. And it's too long for the sides. And she doesn't want to mess up her hair, pulling it on and off. It's like, oh, if you get but cold. It's so soft. I could wear it for you her. You could. I'll just hug you. <gasps> yeah. I'll cuddle you. <laughs> okay. Look at us. Hi. Yes, please. Ha ha ha. Oh, and if you think that the acting life is glamorous, it is, but most of your time spent straight up vibing forever <laughs> until they come and get you. Uh, I'm like, oh. Do you Daddy long leg arms. Climbing? 
They just touch you like they're a little human. Really? Yeah, there's like no hair on their fingers. <laughs> I'd use my nose for everything. <laughs> <laughs>